Hey everyone, welcome back to another video over the Wreath Network on TriHackMe. Today we're going to be taking a look at Task 28, Command and Control Empire Hop Listeners. As mentioned previously, Empire agents can't be proxied with a SOCAT relay or any equivalent redirects, but there must be a way to get an agent back from a target without or with no outbound access, right? The answer is yes. We use something called a hop listener. Hop listeners create what looks like a regular listener in our list of listeners. Try saying that 10 times fast. <laughs> like the HTTP listener we used before. However, rather than just uh, rather than opening a port to receive a connection, hop listeners create files to be copied across to the compromised jump server and served from there. These files contain instructions to connect back to a normal, usually HTTP listener on our attacking machine. And if you heard a meow, that was my kitten who is currently circling my feet like a shark. As such, the hop listener in the listener's menu can be thought of as more of a placeholder, a reference to be used when generating stagers. If this doesn't make much sense just now, don't worry. Hopefully it will uh, once we've worked through an example and we'll have to, I'll work through a full example here to help it uh, bring it into context. All right. Uh, so the hop listener we will be working with is the most common kind, the HTTP underscore hop listener. When created, this will create a set of .php files, which must be uploaded to the jump server, our compromised web server and served by an HTTP server. Under normal circumstances, this would be a trivial task as the compromised server already has a web server running. However, out of courtesy to anyone else attempting the network, we will not be using the installed web server. Uh, let's first look at getting started using the listener in uh, Empire uh, CLI, or at starting the listener rather. Uh, switch into the context of the listener using use listener HTTP underscore hop. From the main Empire menu, uh, you may need to use back a few times to get out of the agents menu, etc. There are a few options we're interested in here. So we've used that and then we'll look at the info there. So we have redirect listener true. Um, and then we have the description there. Let me scroll up and read that since it's cut off on this side. Uh, existing listener to redirect the hop traffic to. Um, then we have the host true, uh, which is the host name slash IP for staging, and then we have the port true uh, port for the listener. Specifically, we need an HD, or a redirect listener. Uh, this is a regular listener to forward any received agents to. Think of the hop listener as being something like a relay on the compromised server. Uh, we still need to catch it with something. Uh, you could use the listener you set up earlier for this or create an entirely new HTTP listener. Uh, we're going to be using the web server listener that I've already set up because, well, that's easy. Uh, using the same steps we used earlier. Make sure that this matches up with the name of the already active listener, though. Uh, we need a host, which is the IP of the compromised web server, so .200 in this case, um, and then the port. Uh, this is the port that will be used for the web server hosting our hot files. Pick a random port here above 15,000, but remember it. Um, in this case, I'm going to be using 17,000 just to make it really easy for me in this example, and I'm writing that down as well. I'm not gonna fill it out with the uh, CLI. We'll do this all in Starkiller as well, of course. When filled in, our options should look something like this. So we set all those options, and then we can see that everything has been set below. So redirect listener, get server. Um, in our case, it is going to be the uh, web server uh listener that we want and then set the host again this is the host that is going to be serving that traffic and it looks like mirror is using uh 47 000 for the port on that compromised host in this case we can see that's all been sent and then we just execute it as shown in the screenshot when we execute or when we again use execute uh to start the listener in this case notice that the message tells us that three files were written to the or to a HTTP underscore hop directory in the temp directory of our attacking machine. We need to replicate this file structure on our jump server, uh, the compromised.200 server, when we serve the files. Notice that these files, news.php, admin uh, forward slash get.php, and then login forward slash process.php would not look out of place amongst genuine web application files, and indeed could easily uh, be discreetly merged into an existing web app. Again, this is something you would note down if you were doing this as it's something that will have to be cleaned up. Let's look at setting up a uh, HTTP underscore hop listener in Starkiller. 
By this stage, you should be fairly familiar with the process, so we'll go through this fairly quickly. Switch back to the listeners menu, which is going to be the headphones, in the menu at the left-hand side of the screen. Create a new listener and choose hop or HTTP underscore hop for the type. We can do that right here. Uh, we then fill in the options, much less like with the Empire CLI. Uh, so it looks like in this case, it's going to be named. Um, uh, we'll name it HTTP underscore hop, and then we'll just leave it as is. And then the host that we are going to be connecting or running this on is going to be HTTP uh, 10, 272, 200, and then port uh, 8. Uh, I'm going to use 17,000. In this case, looks like Mir is using 47,002. And then redirect listener. We want web server for there. So we'll just use that because it's something that we already have set up. And that's just going to be an HTTP listener, so it'll accept it anyways. We'll go ahead and click Submit. And let it do its wonderful magic. And we can see that it, if we go back here, should be all done. Again, we set the post uh, .200 .200 port and redirect listener. Note, if you have a hop listener set up using the Empire CLI, then you should also change the out folder uh, as in the above screenshot. So we can see the out folder right there. Make sure you change that because otherwise it's going to overwrite the previously generated files. Click submit and the listener starts. Create an HTTP underscore hop listener in the Empire CLI and or scar killer. We're going to mark that as complete. And I will see you guys next time in task 29 when we get command and control uh, using Empire with the Git server. But until then, happy hacking.